Greatest bulk of roots on blueberries is in the top nine inches of soil. Uh, you'll find most of those roots growing parallel rather than there's a few sinker roots that go down. Uh, they don't transport nutrients or water very well laterally, so you have to have water all the way around the plant for those roots to pick it up. And the same is true for fertilizer uh, picking them up. Uh, the roots will stay active down to temperatures uh, below 45 degrees. And uh, this is kind of a nice chart to look at. It shows you the developmental stages of the blueberry plant. And then it shows you uh, root growth during the season. And it shows you shoot growth during the season. What's going on uh, uh, throughout the season. Uh, one problem with blueberries is people tend to crop them too small. Uh, little tiny plants will produce fruit. What you're trying to do is grow that bush up to get into a high production. Uh, so it may take three to four years to really get into commercial production. About 6,000 pounds per acre is what we're uh, considered to be a fairly good yield consistently. Uh, this is uh, something that's uh, new. I met with Dr. Wei Yang at the North Willamette Research Station when I was out there. And they're doing some blueberry grafting. They're grafting on sparkleberry. That's another blueberry type, Vaccinium arboretum. This is a grafted blueberry plant. Uh, they're trying to make a one trunk blueberry for machine harvest. You know, they machine harvest with that plant the way it comes up, they lose a lot of blueberries on the ground. So they're trying to get this to, to work out. So this is something for the future. These are some of his plots. Uh, I've got some from uh, South Carolina in my backyard and they all froze out. So we've got to get some native sparkleberries to try this on. But uh, these are some of his plots with different rootstocks. And, you can see they had a heavy wind come through and he broke some of them off, you know, so he's looking, but uh, uh, most of these probably won't be hardy for us. He's selected uh, three. These sparkleberries are difficult to propagate. They don't, they don't root, they propagate them with tissue culture. So he's taken some of these to a lab to <laughs> tissue culture them. Uh, this is a, a protector for sun scald. Uh, you can't do that on a regular blueberry plant, but this is to keep the, that trunk from sun scalding. They get out in Oregon, it's either wet in the winter and rainy in the spring, or they don't get any rain in the summer. And so, okay, any other questions? Okay, thank you.